Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Year 4 as the Golden Horde. Let's see, is the, are they gone? No, two months more, two more months. Uh, be who? Little sheikdom down near Persia. Okay, good for them. Next month we're going to break the drilling and move north to Sustal. Like eight, nine. Ah. Yeah, stop them. There we go. Move. Yes, stop the drill. Move on. Move. Get okay, a move on. And I don't think we can fabricate a claim here for a very long time. 50 points. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Okay, so where are Moscow's forts? The capital fort right there. And a fully maintained fort there, and a fully maintained fort here. And over there. And I assume none of them are going to be in uh, good terrain for us. Simple terrain. Woods, woods, woods. Everything's woods. That's fine, though. The age is about to end. Four months. So before I go to war, I'm going to develop up Moscovy a bit. Oh, right, the rebels broke him. The guy collapsed. New monarch, 255. Well, that's fine. You have fun with us. I mean, we're going to attack Nogai as soon as we're done with the war with Muscovy. We're just going to secure everything here, and then we're going to go and deal with whatever steps of the Uzbeks. Then we're going to have to deal with Transoxania. Just secure all the steps. But first now, I want to see if we can finally use Poland in a conflict with Muscovy. Um, no, we're not going to do that. We have the ideas we need for now. Getting tech is one thing. Getting, getting the institution is probably what I want to do, though. Okay, so we're going to start. I don't think we have anything else we can reduce the uh, thing with. And we need to do this before 1513, right? Because that's when the modifier, the 10% modifier is going to go away. So we're going to start with admin. That's all we can afford. I do think I want to go all the way up to 10, though. Uh, let's see. Just verify that we're actually getting colonialism. We are. Yeah, I want to get at least up to 10. Before I start investing in the other two. Actually, we can't, can we? No, it's points we're lacking. Never mind. Yeah, you're going to sit in Suzdal, which doesn't have the ability to support the troops split up. Just to verify, you'd still be willing to come, right? Tribal conquest. Sweden would still answer the call. You only fight two battles and you've won both of them. Hmm. Curious. If I delay though, let's wait till March. I'm actually getting down the rebellions in Zustal. 
I am. Yeah, okay, in that case, wait until April 1st. Because then this one's going to be gone. So I don't have to worry about that uh, thing backstabbing me. And of course, on please don't be the good guy. Okay, no, we still have the 2422, so that's okay-ish. Yeah, we're going to wait until April 1st, we're going to clear war then, and we're just going to zoom in and see if we can do something there. Anyway, there goes our age bonuses. Maybe I should have declared war before, actually I should have declared before before, because then I could have taken war taxes without paying for it. No! Anyway, that's 50, admin, 50 mil points I lost. Anyway, from East West, this is the age of the religious conviction. Debates and mass uh, movements. In Europe, Protestantism is currently... What, is uh, entrenched while mil millenit what millenar millenarianism is that what the millenarianism takes the thing okay takes hold of Iran and religious syncretism shapes Indian society anyway fair enough religious conflicts enabled the emperor passes a reform good for him. China is... China's low mandate? Really? Oh, they've taken a reform. That's why. Hmm. Oh well. So right now they're going to hurt, but they're going to recover. Speaking of hurting, let's have a look, quick look at their army size. Just so we can tremble. No manpower. Uh, lots of mercs. Tons of manpower. We are way down here. Lots of manpower, not so much in terms of army. And two reforms. And Austria has very much secured this. It's been a while since I saw Austria actually uh, maintain the HRE. And they've converted Lüneburg. Or are they occupied or something? I think if for once we'll actually see a weak reformation. It certainly looks that way now. Then again, I don't know what's going on over there. For all I know, France is gone Protestant. Um, right, the war with Muscovy. I want to wait one more, I think, for this to go away. Nothing's changed, right? I could even drag the Ottomans in now. Um, why on earth would you want to join this? I don't know. Do I want to drag you into this? Probably not. I think I'd rather use them in a war with Persia or someone down here. Most likely Persia. Just so I can, you know, get a foothold down here. Uh, but that's still a ways off. That would be kind of funny. I'm gonna have to assume that uh, Lithuania and Poland is gonna be uh, sufficiently strong to help me here. Can I see the forces of Sweden? No, I can't, because I don't have a diplomatic view of them yet. Oh yeah, and we were also still supposed to develop up Muscovy a little bit more. Getting a bit of colonialism. 10% now. Uh, protest in Gunzia. Legalism, lose prestige. The whole Dagestan area is going to be less profitable. I am okay with going, still going legalism. I know that in the initial release of the whole Cradle of Civilization thing, there were some bugs that made it pretty much impossible to go mysticism. At least for some nation. I don't know if they fixed that. Probably, they probably have. A 
Blasphemy Act, huh? Okay, we are in April. You are still at war. Um, 1% there. What's the actual? Yeah, that's less. <laughs> but you're very much busy over there. So let's do a little tribal conquest. I can't. I, since I don't know who uh, Sweden, who Sweden's allies are, so I can't really do that. Can't drag you in. Do you want to drag in Mos the Ottomans? How many favors am I getting every every year with the Ottomans now? I gain one favor every two years, so it's going to take me another twelve years to gain the favors I need with the Ottomans to fight any other battle. I'm actually okay with this, because 12 years, we're definitely going to be devouring Muscovy. We still have no guy, Transoxania, Uzbek, which we can beat up on our own. Don't need the Ottomans for that. Yeah, 12 years isn't going to... Yeah, but you know what? Let's, let's, let's make sure the Ottomans don't do anything foolish. So, we're going to drag both of them in. Um... So I have no idea who Sweden's allied to. I have no idea who their allies are. But I'm so tempted to do this. Yeah, we're gonna do this. But before I do... Aid of Reformation, right. Uh, convert another nation. Okay, so we got credit for... Converting perm. That's what I wanted to know. That's what. That's why I was thinking about uh, co-belligerating Sweden, so we might have a, someone we can enforce Sunni faith on. Which would have been funny if I could have done that. I don't think I could. Uh, unity culture. Oh, I need to own all, all... Oh, I thought I just needed to have the unity culture tag. I need to own all Tatar provinces. Ah. Yeah, that's gonna be kind of trickier. Need to convert ten provinces. That's also a bit tricky. Um, that's not never gonna happen, never gonna happen, never gonna happen. Asian trade requires... Oh! Spices, chinaware, and silk. I need to trade in those goods. Ah, that's gonna be a tall order too. So I think the two we're gonna aim for are converting provinces and unifying culture. What are the bonuses we can get here? Um... Resistance to reformation, that doesn't matter at all to us. That won't really matter since we don't have a navy. This one could be super cool. Uh, not useful for us at this point. Um, not really useful. Highly useful. Insanely useful. And uh, rather useful. So you are the special nations in this era. Okay, Spain. The Mughals. They have, to, they have to form, of course. Poland. And... Persia. It's not really enforcement cost. Anyway, that means Muscovy, uh, you're gonna die. I have no idea who, uh, who Sweden's friends are. But you're my friend, so... Fun times. Uh, right, diplomatic tech, that's not gonna happen. Well, they'll just immediately go in. Try to grab the forts. Wait, what? You said you wouldn't answer. Oh, we're gonna re regret this, folks. Uh, first of all, then, we need to quickly check. Oh, you just put that as high priority. That is not good. Now at least we know Sweden, so who's gonna fight against us? 
No one else. Okay, but well, the Ottomans are in this, everyone's in this. Fun times all around. Ah. Okay, he's gonna run away. Where is he? Well, since he's in this, I might have to go and deal with him first. Unfortunately. That's okay, though. Gotta give our allies time to, you know, go and siege. I'm gonna be fighting woodlands. That's not ideal, but... One wiped out, let's go down. Yeah, I need to go and deal with this guy first. Before he does anything... Uh, stupid. It said they wouldn't answer the call, but they did anyway. Grumble. Grumble. Uh, you know what, we're gonna fabricate a claim on Nogai and get the last province from them. Transoxania, who are your friends? Nadak, I think we can handle you and your friends. I was hoping to do some damage here before the Moscovites return, but now I have to deal with this first. Which is fine. Alright, out your army. I just don't want uh, the Ottomans to secure this province. That's my uh, beef here. So I guess we'll let our allies do all the dirty work. Oh, you got peasants. Peasant revolts. Well then, let's take your other provinces first. They should turn everything over to me. Uh, you should have no vested interest up here. You have no vested interest. You have interest here. So you'll probably hold on to these. But everything else you're going to hand over to me. Which is fine, because what we're going to do now is basically feed Perm a ton of land. And take a few provinces here for ourselves, most likely. I just prefer to have not too many Orthodox provinces, especially when you have Perm here to just convert everything. But the Fort provinces are kind of tempting to take. Especially this one. We definitely want this, so we can complete Muscovy. Speaking of, we can still develop, can't we? Oh right, no we can't do it right, right now. There we go. Oh, you decided to kill the rebels. Good. So that's one down. Uh, right, they're orthodox. Hmm. Yaroslav is running through here. I don't like this. Um. Of course, now that we've dealt with, yeah, we're developing, uh, developing up lands now that tribes want more. Of course they do. Uh, here you go. Ain't much, but take it. Mm, that's actually a cap. Uh, uh, yeah, fort. Yeah, right, 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 right. And you are the siege good dude. So you go over there. 
Uh, yeah. Siege dude over there, the other guy is going to be moving up here, I think. So we finally, finally have some good use for our ally. It's great. Uh, right, you're not going to sit here. Uh, da, 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 you're going to move out of here. So why are you moving through? I don't need you, her Ottomans. I really don't. Hey, you're moving through. Okay, fair enough. It's kind of funny to behold this, but... Yeah, go fight for me, Turk. You screwed me over before. Now you pay for it. <laughs> I think we're gonna... Do I want to take one province? And we'll see what we do. Figure something out. Uh, how close are you to the Renaissance, by the way? Or the colonialism? Yeah, not even close. And I kind of want to get... The next mill tech, too. No, I have to invest, so... That's a lot of points. But we're getting colonialism. Gonna hold off a bit now. Before spending the rest. With the Ottomans on our side, I'm fairly so confident that we can just smash. Oh, dang it! I didn't notice. <laughs> our one army was over there. That was a tiny one, though. There we go. Dead. And that was enough to get us above the limit. Fantastic. That's okay. I think we're doing okay. The Ottomans are running amok up here. Denmark suffers internal conflicts. The estates want more land. Of course they do. Why wouldn't they? Uh, not the gold mine, but anything else is fine. Not this one, though. Not everything else. Most things are fine. Not Astrakhan, not this. Uh, Theodoro? You know what, here you go. Hold Theodoro. Enjoy. I have no idea where the Ottomans are actually going, but they're going somewhere. But they're gonna march all the way around here to fight the Ottoman forces, that's... or the, uh, the enemy forces. I'm fine with that. And poor Ryazan is trying to besiege, but doesn't have enough troops. And what did Yaroslav go with, by the way? He also went religious. Hmm. I'm thinking we're going to do some forced conversion here. Forced conversions. At the very least. The Ottomans are moving around here to try to engage. <laughs> My goodness. It's a long way around.
Once the forts fall, it'll be easier, of course. There we go, Alania has fallen. We're gonna move straight up here. And we're gonna call that, recall this diplomat, and we'll see what we can do with our friends down there. But that will be next time. It is time for a break. Thank you for watching.